What's up, Power Maniacs? Power Stasis here. We are back in the world of FTB Retro Pack, the uh, pyramid map, which you can see. Uh, wow, it actually kind of looks ugly from over here now that I think about it. Yeah. Wow. Anyways, uh, we have now gotten everything functioning. You can see we've got our uh, wheat coming out through this pipe right here. We've got a diamond sorting pipe for those of you guys who aren't familiar. Uh, when you use a diamond pipe here, you can pick what goes where, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. And if you filter it, then it will go, uh, what is filtered will go that direction. What isn't filtered will just go straight through. Got our nice little iron chest over here to store that. And that, for now, will keep this more or less stocked. Eventually, I'm going to have to be careful with uh, how it runs because uh, it, it can just become a problem because it's going to start spitting out. So we really only need one wheat to start this process off. Let's see, I'm going to go ahead and store the wheat so that the thing learns it. Now that we've got that learned, or learnt, Learn to me good. As you can see, our little setup here is going rather well. Um, now that we've got the macerator going with a steam pipe, and this is kind of odd. It seems like this machine right here will yank out of here at five at a time. Whereas over here, we're yanking out in ones singles. So it, it, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me why it works that way. I just understand that it does. So I'm just going to Click that in, whoa, and pop it out. There we go. Now, the reason we're getting wheat is because we're going to be needing to make hummus. Now, let me show you guys hummus. And there's a couple different ways you can go about making hummus. Hummus can be made with compost, surrounding dirt, or it can be made with fertilizer. Well, fertilizer is made from appetite. I have one appetite. Appetite doesn't have an EMC, so I can't uh, mass produce it. However, Compost is easy to produce, as you can see right here. So for every piece of dirt and uh, four wheat, I can make four compost. And then with that, I just put that into uh, the dirt cycle there. So now that I've got 64 of this, what we need is obviously a bit of debt. So we're gonna drop that little monster. Oh, it doesn't have an EMC. That would explain why it isn't working for me. There we go. So now I've got 64 dirt, which will be more than enough. Uh, well, actually, no, we're going to need quite a bit more now that I think about it. So we're... Okay, first we're going to go and dump everything. I have got to get more order. That is like one of my main problems. Organization. I don't know why. It's like my body just rebels against organization. It's like, you know what? Fuck it. We're not, we're not going to get on schedule. We're not going to, we're going to do anything orderly. We're not going to be nice and neat. We're just going to make a big old fucking mess. All right. So there we go. We've got our stuff now. So we're going to come back over here to our EMC creator. Pop this out. Okay. That was a little more than I needed, but fair enough. And I'll put this in there real quick. Thankfully that goes a little bit slower. So not so bad. Uh, and the reason I need so much of this stuff is um, you need eight per cycle. There we go. All right, now we'll just put this little monster back up in there and that'll sort everything else out. Okay, that should be plenty. All right, so let's make our compost first. Now, the nice thing about compost is every time you cycle this, you get four. So you get quite a bit for your buck, as you can see right here. So we surround this with debt. As you can see, this is the really, really uh, expensive part of it. But that gives us plenty of hummus at that point. So hummus is no longer an issue. Now, I have measured this out. The way these farms work is it's a 9x9 nine nine area. And then you have a 3 prong area over here. So you need 3. So that's 1, 2, 3. And then you need f uh, 5, 1, two, three, four, five. And this right here will be the new center. Now, sand is a byproduct of this um, process. Why it's a byproduct of this process, I have no idea. I just know that it is. And you will be continuously needing to feed uh, hummus to it because otherwise it will run out and be a biggity little bitch like that. So we are going to now need one more steam engine. So I'm going to need that, I'm going to need that, I'm going to need you, I'm going to need that. 
And we're gonna need our sticks. And I think that's it. If I've got my recipe learnt by now, which I most likely do not. All right, there's our wooden cogs. We're gonna need to do a little bit of... Oh, really, you filled up again on me? Oh, that would explain why you filled up. It makes perfect sense now. As you can see, this thing is yanking out handfuls of this stuff, so. That makes it very nice, y'all. All right, so we need just one second of that. Uh, let that process, and we'll just pull that out. I don't think I'm going to need any more wood. Okay, so we've got our two gears. We need to turn these into stone gears. I forgot we need glass. There we go. You know, I should really move that stuff over here. You know, the reason I had all that stuff over there to begin with was, you know, I wanted to make sure that if something exploded, it wouldn't take everything out at once. But, you know... I've already blown up my stash over there twice now, trying to protect it from keeping it from getting blown up. I've kind of, for whatever reason, failed to realize that wherever I'm at, the creeper is going to be coming, so odds are I'm going to get blown to hell anyway. So I might as well just embrace it, accept the failing, and, and get on with it. There we go. And that's a little flying airplane. I don't know if you guys can pick that up. I'm not sure uh, what the mic can pick up. Sometimes it picks up every little thing. Sometimes it doesn't. Oh, you, you definitely have to be able to hear that. So, my apologies. Okay, so we need some coal. And the easiest way to do that is come over here, grab a nice big stack of this, since we can make as much as we need. And we'll drop it in here. We'll take one stick. Oh, good God, that is a lot of EMC. Damn! Alright, and then we'll take some redstone. Okay. So, we'll bring our little monster right here. We're going to slap him down there. We're going to uh, put our coal in there. Now we need to get a redstone torch so we can tell it to turn itself on. And bam! Beautiful. Now that should get rocking and rolling. You can see it's already knocking the snow off. I believe it goes in lines, straight horizontally, so back and forth, back and forth. But we should start to see some hummus getting dropped any time now. And then I will basically, just like I did over here, see there it's going, it's placing it. Like you'll see over here, uh, I did extend uh, the cobble out. I'll do the same thing over here once this is done placing everything. And this will eventually build trees, and then we will just basically farm those trees and this stuff over here. And between the two of these farms, we should easily be able to make enough uh, biologicals, or I don't know, bio stuff to make biomass out of, liquid biomass, and then we'll make uh, from the liquid biomass, we'll ferment that into actual biofuel. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and let this finish doing its thing, which it will hopefully do quickly and once that's finished set up there uh, we'll go ahead and show you guys because this is a fermenter I'm gonna get the fermenter working probably gonna have to make another steam engine and then we'll get the still working as well and we'll kind of cover how those function what they do etc etc all right so now that we've got all this set up we need to oh crap it's not going to go good um, we need to make a few other materials real quick there we go Pop that out. Now we got plenty of that. All right, so I just got to make sure I catch these diamonds here in a second when that gums up the works. Why did that stop working? Oh, damn it. Oh, hi, chicken. Not quite sure where you came from. For whatever reason, my power supply over here keeps shutting off. And I have no idea why it does it. But if I... Oh, crap, you stupid little... Get out of the way. <laughs> Have fun on your trip down, bitch. All right. Let's put that there. Is that filling up? Negative. We got plenty of juice there. So let's sort it to here. And we're still not filling up. Sort it to here. There we go. I have to do that every time I restart the game. I don't know why. I'm not quite sure what the hell's going on with it, but every single time I start things up, it shuts it down, and it's absolutely annoying. Because it, it really, as you can see, it 
screws up this whole process because but anyways we're getting distracted um one of the things we need over here for our logger and you can see our little tree farm is happily building away over here little piggy's a little panicked he oh he came over to say hi what's up piggy we need a logger over there because the logger actually chop chops the trees and without the logger um i got to do it manually and well pyro's lazy so fuck that okay so first off we need to make another one of our sturdy machines Put that in the middle. We surround that with glass. Now this one is fairly expensive if you're starting off with the game. I don't know why something so basic is so expensive, but it is. And that just seems to be the way they like it. And we're gonna go ahead and make uh, two more steam engines. Probably gonna need to make another one after this. Or another two, but we're just gonna start with two for now. Uh, we need one to run the logger and one to run the fermenter and we'll probably need one to run the still uh, what i may end up doing is actually making a power grid with the um with the engines because i don't think all of these things are really using that much power so we may end up doing that i've just oh shit, i need another one don't i i've just got to be careful because if i use too much power well no they won't explode not in this version so we should be good actually now that I think about it. Because I, I believe steam engines in the current version can explode, but I, I may be off about that. There we go. I do my best to tell you guys factual information, but every once in a while, and, and you know, a lot of these wikis, it, it kind of sucks too because the game, you know, hasn't been updated on all these mods. So a lot of times, you know, we're talking, this mod I'm playing on is 1.25, whereas, you know, the majority of the game is currently in 1.4. So, you know, some of it's just so out of date and it's, it's hard to keep it all accurate because, you know, obviously things change as time goes on and it's a mess. So hopefully, I'm, I'm really looking forward to everything finally being updated to um, the current versions and then things won't be quite such a problem. Hopefully, that's that's my... Damn it. That's my hope, anyway. Of course. You're going to make this very, very difficult, aren't you, machine? Alright, we're going to yank these out. Oh, I already have some. I don't need any more. There we go. Dropping you in here, and we need a stack of coal. Thank you, sir. Now, the nice thing about these steam engines is they seem to be extremely efficient and that it takes a, a fairly long time for them to drain. Oh, well, it'll fix it. Because as you can see right over here, uh, you know, this one's been going for about half hour, 45 minutes, and it's only burned about 15 or so of the, uh, of the fuel. All right, so what the logger basically does, whoops. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm trying not to break the machine because the machine I think breaks instantaneously. Anyways, as you can see over here, it broke the tree. And what that will do um, when I actually get it set up correctly, and I probably need to do that now, is it will feed through a wooden tube uh, the tree. And I, I don't know if it actually grabs saplings or not. I don't believe it does. So we're going to go ahead and get that set up so that it can spit things out. Otherwise, it just stores it forever, and that, that gets nasty. So let me get a couple chests set up and some pipe systems running, and then uh, we'll start working on the fermenter and the still. Okay, so now we've got this mostly automated. Um, I don't know exactly why, but you can pull wood out from the side with just normal transport pipes, but uh, saplings, apples, and those things have to come out through a wooden pipe, it seems like, and that comes out to the top. Now, you don't have to power it like you do some other things, but you do have to have it hooked up. So that seems to work just fine. So with this, all of the wood, the physical wood is going to come through the chest on the bottom pipe. And then all of the apples and seeds, etc., etc., will come through the top. And I don't know. There it goes. You'll see over there, it just busted that tree. So it's going to have one log coming through. So we're at 17 now. And that should jump us up to 18. So now it's sending it in ones. Earlier it was sending it in big stacks. And you can also see now the sapling that fell off will be coming through the top as well. So that will hopefully, between those, give us plenty of biomass to sort. And it's nice that it picks everything up so you don't have to. 
So we're gonna let that run. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in so we don't fall to our death accidentally while doing what I do best, which is being clumsy. And then we'll get our still and our fermenter working. Okay, so we now have our fermenter set up. Uh, you can fill it by placing water buckets right here. You need to have some kind of um, catalyst down here. Compost, I believe you can use, let's see. You can use compost, you can use uh, fertilizer, and I think mulch. Manure, which is, I believe, compost, is the best one, I think. Uh, but again, what I'm looking at on their wiki and what is actually here are two separate things, so apparently it's out of date. But I believe this is one of the better ones. Either way, the difference is 200 versus 250. So 250 is the best. This is either manure or mulch, according to the wiki, so it's going to be the second best that they're at. Well, it's basically going to be one of the best. All right, so then you put your stuff that you want to grind up up here. This can be saplings, wheat, cactus, sugarcane, mushrooms, plant balls. I have no idea what the fuck those are. And compressed plant balls. Again, I have no idea what those are. You place those up here, and then it will grind this stuff up over into this little bar here. And that's where we're going to be putting our cans. Now, we need to make... Whoops. We need to actually make some cans. Now, we're going to need 64. So... If I remember right, that's going to be four if my math is correct. Nope, my math is not correct. Well, that's almost close enough. There we go. So now we have 64 cans. So we're going to come over here, put our cans, I believe, right there. Let's look at the list. Yes. And basically, this will siphon this off, and then this will drop from here to here. And then that will be a full can. So we just need to get our little guy set up there, which will require the obligatory redstone torch. And then we need to uh, cycle everything out of here. So, uh, shite. There we go, we'll just pull stuff out till it clears. All right, we're gonna put you in there. And we need one stack of coal. There we go. Cycle the rest into redstone, because redstone just seems to be nice. And then I need to dump all of this garbage that I just made that I don't need back into here. Okay. So we drop a redstone torch there. We've got our cans going. That's going to hopefully start pumping as soon as we put the fuel in. And oh god, we gotta go sleep before the zombies get us. Alright, so while we're waiting, and I'm gonna... As soon as the sleep or the day-night cycle is over, we're going to verify that the fermenter is actually fermenting. And hopefully, we can actually see a process there. I believe we'll be able to. Yeah. You can see this is this right here supposedly speeds the process up, etc., etc. So we'll be needing to keep that all funneled. But with our two farms going, that really shouldn't be a problem. I've got enough stuff to make mulch for years. So we should be fairly good with that. No, don't go there. We need to put these little monsters up there. And you can see we're already starting to get a little bit of the biofuel. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to make the still. And the still will allow us to process this stuff and turn it actually into biodiesel. So that recipe seems to be fairly straightforward. Thankfully, put you there. There we go, and now we have a still. Unfortunately, that means we're going to need yet another engine. So, I'm gonna have to, no, I don't have to do it, there we go. One, two, there we go. That gives us our cogs. Do we have any, no, we have everything but stone. Why would we have stone? Don't need stone for anything. Uh, except for when we need stone for something. Oh, come on. Uh, what about wood? What if I put wood there? There we go. Uh, cobble. There we go. Give me a stack. Take that back. Thank you very much. Okay, we're going to make the piston real quick. Man, when you get to making this stuff all the time, you really do finally start to remember the recipes. Thank God. We're gonna make our cogs. There we go. Cog one, cog two. Got that there. Bam. And 
Steam engine. Okay. So let's drop our still. We'll put him here. We'll put the engine on the right side because we're going to be using uh, waterproof pipes to pump this. And then I believe we're going to be moving this stuff. My mask can. I believe I can just put this right here. Yep. And that will make more stuff. And unfortunately, it means we lose our cans. So we're going to have to make more cans. Um, and then I'm going to have to grow some cactuses. Because we've got a cactus. I gotta make some sand, which is going to make things really, really challenging because um, sand doesn't float very well. <laughs> it does, it just kind of drops like a rock. So I'm gonna figure out how to get some sand. I think I'm just gonna make it manually. I mean, I, if I was smart, I could probably turn it, but I'm a little worried that uh, it'll, it'll drop through the floor. So I need to figure out how, where's my, there it is. Let's charge him up. There we go. Let's just do that. And we're going to do like this. And I think it's... Gonna... Oh, shit. I'm just so fucking worried about it. Okay, yeah. That's really dropping pretty hardcore. And I think it's shift right click. That's grass. And then one more is going to make it sand. So I, I can't do that because it'll drop. So let me figure out how to make this, you know. I think I've got some in the the tablet, actually, now that I think about it. Put you there. There's our sand. So we need a good stack. There we go. All right, well, I'm going to lay this farm out real quick. There's no reason for you guys to watch that. But we're going to get this set up real quick. Oh, wait, Peggy. I like how I knock him out of the way and he actually follows. And now he's just staring. He's just mean mugging me. He's just like, bitch, you hit me one more time. You hit me one more fucking time. You just see what happens. It's all right. I want to make a nice pulled pork sandwich out of him here in a minute when you guys aren't paying attention. It's going to be legendary. Okay. And so this is unfortunately going to take a couple seconds. Actually, no, it's not. This is going to be instantaneous. Because I'm a wizard when it comes to EMC and all things Minecraft. I don't know if this actually works on these. I hope it does. Ah, fuck. Well, that's just poop. All right, well, we're going to actually have to wait on that one then. So while we're waiting on that, I'm going to go ahead and get um, this stuff more or less going with the exception of the waterproof pipes. And we'll see what happens. All right, so we're still waiting on our little stuff to grow over there, but you can see we've got a fairly good cycle going over here. I dump water into it occasionally. Uh, hopefully I'll eventually have to I'll automate this eventually. When I get biomass can full, I bring it over here. We put biomass right here. This fills up, it does its little thing, and eventually we'll start working through cans over here of actual liquid biomass. Once that hits uh, 64 cans, we have accomplished yet another one of our little goals, and we will get another cookie. And I'm so looking forward to my next cookie. So for next episode, uh, we're basically just going to let that run. I'm going to get a liquid container flowing through here so I don't have to bounce back and forth between the two. And uh, we, we should be pretty much good. I'm going to probably make some new toys too. I may make a... Uh, may go ahead and make the condenser if I can, or the M MKV. I forget which one. It's a, it's a Mark V something or other. I think I might be able to make it. So now that we've got... I mean, we have a ridiculous amount of EMC. I mean, these, this is just insane. And that's just going to keep getting better and better. So we'll see how that goes. But hopefully you guys are liking this series. If you are, please click the like button. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my other videos, tips, tricks, and guides. And I'll catch you guys in the next clip.